Hello everybody, today we're going to learn about ubiquitilation. Um, so we're going to look over here, uh, right at the beginning of cytokinesis, which is the end of M, or mitosis, and that means we're going to try to get rid of the m cyclin CDK complex. So let's take a look. So the simple story here is that the m cyclin binds to the CDK together, they're going to influence a lot. They are going to phosphorylate lamins. They are going to induce microtubule organization center activation. And they are also going to induce um, condensation of DNA. Now, because DNA condenses, um, a cell would die if, if DNA was condensed all the time or if the m cyclin was CDK complex was active all the time. So somehow this has to be unactivated or inactivated. That's going to be through degradation through something called ubiquitil through ubiquitilation. So, inactive APC or anaphase promoting complex is going to bind with CDC20 together with E1, E2, and ubiquitin. They're going to add these small tags to this molecule. That's going to take a little bit of time. First, it's going to add this first one, then the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, which means this. APC won't immediately destroy all the M cyclin. Rather, it's going to take some time for that ubiquitin to put on, get put on. Once the ubiquitin is put on, specifically five of them, the M cyclin is targeted for degradation. A proteasome, which I've drawn as the Death Star in previous diagrams, will come in and destroy the M cyclin, leaving the CDK to bind to the cyclin later on. That's basically it. The important things that we have to know is that ubiquitation leads to degradation um, through a proteasome, that it is a timing mechanism, and for us specifically for this story, that is how the M-cyclin gets taken out. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.